Let's see if we can win biggie money. We're gonna we're gonna start this on normal. Without timer. Okay. As you can see, we have some pretty good categories here. Undo Olympic Games. <laughs> And sports and hobbies. Okay. So you're going to get everything from arts, literature, language, lifestyle, entertainment, geography, history, science, manga, <laughs> general culture, and DC Comics. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we picked this one for you because George's is close to Gord. Thank you, thank you for the applause. <laughs> Everybody, applause, applause, applause. Well, yeah, it's definitely recording as well. That's doing it. Yep. Yeah, I'm watching it. Yeah. I just, I, I have to pick. I have to, I have to pick my destiny each time. That's fine. <laughs> Welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Good evening, everyone. I'm delighted to be here with you. <laughs> there are only 15 questions standing between our contestant and one million dollars. So let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? What? Well, you know the money ladder. All right, here 15 we go. 15 questions, and at the top, the million. <laughs> oh, yeah, you get like four of these in this. To help you, we have four lifelines at your disposal. Phone a friend. The 50-50, ask the audience, and switch the question. Uh, that dude is me. Yeah, yeah, it's you. Our team of happy to have to bring you into the stream deck. A new question. What sort of food is Parmesan? <laughs> is it pasta? pasta? Cheese? Fish? Bread? Uh, uh, Regis, I'm gonna say cheese. <laughs> Good answer! <laughs> I'm choosing B. You know what, what the hell's just been oh, choosing is, right? B? That's what you sound is like. I'm choosing B. Uh -huh. right. I'm thinking Breb. Thank you, Mittens. Answer. Now it's time to find out the correct... We're just gonna speed this up so it isn't five right minutes answer per answer. Found easily. <laughs> or almost. Let's go for a whole new question. What is special about Gorilla Grodd? <laughs> he is a telepathic gorilla. He's a giant gorilla. He's a were gorilla. He's a gorilla from another planet. Hmm. He is a telepathic gorilla. I'm choosing A. He assaulted Barack Obama. <laughs> Con congratulations, you got the next question right. <laughs> oh, that, that's perfect. I just remember the part of the Justice League Unlimited question. where they shoot him out of the airlock. <laughs> Which part of the tea plant is used to make the hot drink? Oil, bark, root, leaf. Uh, it's leaf. D seems pretty Why would they good. say it like the hot, the hot drink? <laughs> you know what my next question is, right? Is this your wait, why did... answer? Yeah, wait, why did they work? Well done. Yeah, I know. I'm it's like, this isn't, me... mo this isn't Monster Hunter. Like, what me. are you doing? New question coming up. Go How is the today. decimal 0 0.75 written as a fraction? Are you three, fucking four, serious? 4, 1, 2, 1, or 3, 2? 3, 4. Yeah, they're, these are meant to be easy. That's that's the f the function You're of the first part of the show. To say a. I know. Okay. Are like the sure? first five are nothing. Then we then we oh, scale you yes. up. That's my final answer. Just because PM yeah. fails at the opening questions like eighteen times in a All row, right. <laughs> doesn't mean these right questions are hard. That is correct. Are you ready for this new question? Which of the following is an activity practiced by medieval knights on horseback? Oh, Jesting. Shit. Jousting. Oh, okay. Jostling. Joysting. Fine. 
<laughs> joysting sounds like what they do uh, behind the curtain. Oh, 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 oh waka waka. A uh, jousting. What the fuck was that? What was that? I, I, I think what I think that's what Madam Webb did. Joysting. I think that the right answer <laughs> is B. Fuck. A uh, mittens. You need to get him under control. That was the most cringe thing he's ever done. <laughs> You know what my next question is. Now you are up to the threshold. Congratulations, you made it through the first, uh, the first tier. I'm looking at the background crowd again, where they're just soulless AI husks and dying. Oh, I'm very high. Oh, um, I can tell. Florent um, Manadow was an Olympic gold medalist <laughs> in 2012. For which distance? Is it 50 meter freestyle? <laughs> 400 meter freestyle, 80, 800 meter freestyle, or 50 meter butterfly. You know, I'm pretty sure we uh, deselected Olympic sports. Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, they included it somewhere else. Would you like to use a lifeline? What are my lifelines? Uh, you've got like the 50 50, the skip a question. Phone a friend, ask the audience. Skip question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured we probably want to skip the question. <laughs> you choose to use your switch lifeline. You are careful. Well done. The answer was 50 meter freeze. Are you ready for this new question? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Which university is not a member of the USA's prestigious Ivy League? Mm. Is it Princeton, Harvard, Yale, or Berkeley? <laughs> as soon as we get out of question what? time, it's so over. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you you left the tutorial zone and immediately it's a soul's poison swamp. Berkeley. Okay. Uh, no more hesitating. I'm gonna say D. So this is your final answer? Um that's my final answer. If this is your final answer, let's hope it's the correct answer. Just Owen. Good job. Oh my god. I'm I'm like anytime you're not confident, I'm gonna let it rock. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. Six down. Now let's go to the next quite a few to go. If you don't mind. Which wine shares its name with a joint of pork? Champagne? Hawk? Retsina? Hawk? Claret? I know Hawk of Ham is a thing. Mm -hmm. and, and Ham and is Ham is based on uh, dogs. Hawk. Would you like to lock in Hawk? Yes. I'm certain that it's B. And what will be your final answer? Yes, that's my final answer. You have given your final answer. Now is the time to see the right one. You're right, Ham Hawk, baby. Oh my god. I remember Ham Hawks from an episode of uh, Dexter's easy. Lab. Or almost. It's a drool. Yep. I hate how he edges this the player. Is yeah, it's pretty good. For you to be answered with All right. Colors. You're about to hit the midway point here. Who played the U.S. president in the 1996 film Independence Day? Oh, so Harrison Jesus Ford, Christ. Anthony Hopkins, Bill Pullman, or Kevin Costner. ID4, baby. I've never heard of him, so I'm going to say Bill Pullman. All right, you going to lock that in? Yes. I'm choosing C. You seem to be convinced, and I'm, but... And I'm pretty thing. certain none of those are in, in, in Independence Day. That'll be my final answer. Yeah, Will Smith's in it. He's hanging out. The choice is made. <laughs> That's you got it. Good Here job. Go. And 
one more right this answer for me. This was a full me. decade before he was born. No, it wasn't. It was, it was not. But, uh, but I want to believe it. You release the pressure. It's like, well, I'm Here's you're actually a question. plus 11. <laughs> what was Mickey Mouse's original name? Montgomery. Mortimer. Marcus. Maxwell. Bad news, Michael what? isn't anywhere near here. <laughs> <laughs> Same height as oh Cosmonaut Marcus, but still. Oh my god. I would bully the shit out of him if his name was Marcus Mouse. <laughs> That'd be so, that's so much better than Michael. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like whenever I call Goofy George. Well, that's his god-given name. Mortimer? Would you like to lock that in? You do have three lifelines, I must remind you. Pull the audience. Okay, we're gonna hit up this pyramid and pull the audience that, not you, but but the, the video game audience. We okay, gonna... audience, this we question to? is worth a good prize. Take a good look at it and vote now. Mortimer. Shit. Mortimer. Okay, yeah, we have no choice but I to lock this in. Right answer. That's a waste deep. of a lifeline. So this is your final answer. Yeah, I, 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 I hate to put the pressure um, on you, but it's. That's my final answer. Now it's time to find out the correct answer. Well done. You're correct. Now, the reason I gave it to you is I was very scared because in the in the Disney House of Mouse show, there is a Mortimer Mouse. It's this guy. And he's like evil Mickey. And that scared me into you being wrong. They fucking stole the old name. <laughs> I knew Mittens would pop off over that. Since which year have women participated in the Olympic Games? 1900, 1924, 1952. Focus. <laughs> what would you like to do? 1900. I'm choosing A. I know you are waiting for me to ask you. So let's go. Is this your final answer? I knew men would be unable to be normal. That's my final guy. answer. The choice is made. Correct answer. Good job. The threshold. Proud of you. What's the threshold? What's the uh, threshold? Th they're basically checkpoints every five questions. So if he loses from here, he'll get thirty-two thousand dollars. Oh, okay. What is the name of the red sun around which the planet Krypton orbits? Is it Helios, Phoebus, Horus, or Rao? Hmm. Rao. All right. Uh, and just to show people, you we're pretty tall? far here. We're almost there. We're on like the last five questions. I'm choosing D. Is that I'm feeling kind of feverish tonight. Yes, that's my final answer. Me when I'm watching the Hunchback of Notre this Dame. This is your final answer. <clears throat> Let's hope it's the correct answer. You figured it out perfectly. Nice answer. Thank you for reading in my voice. I knew you would be awesome. like, "Awesome, I'm feeling a." Uh, How I recall? Will you be able to answer this new question as well? Next up, who wrote the music for West Side Story? Uh, Stephen Sondheim, George Gershwin, Leonard Bernstein, or Richard Rogers? Leonard Bernstein. How do you know this? <laughs> we established this last time I played this. What? We haven't played this in like a year. Yeah, how do you know that? That's like That's scary. Answer. I'm a theater kid. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Oh, my bad. Yeah, whatever, move on. But you are right. And one more right answer for me. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Thanks, man. You will be asked a new question now. Now! Started in November 2002. What was the title of Shakira's first world tour? Was it Tour of the Lion? 
toward the viper. Toward the mongoose. Toward the meerkat. Fifty-fifty. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna cut in half of these. Which ones are you hoping go away? Lion and viper. All right. Okay, let's take away two incorrect answers. Please knock it down to that. All right, lion and mongoose. Mongoose. We locking it in? Yeah. I'm choosing C. Your don't worry, I know nothing choice. about Shakira Is except those hips don't lie. Answer? Oh, yes, that's my final answer. You have given your final like answer. Is. I hope it is the right one. Come on. That is the you right got it. Ooh. That was the right answer? Got the quarter awesome. of a million. Now that you've released the pressure, here's a new question. <laughs> now that which you of, shit your pants. Which of these people did not die in 1977? Charlie Chaplin, Maria Callas, Nat King Cole, or Joan Crawford? But why did I have to be the one to get what this the question? What fuck? <laughs> your dad your dad was five years old when this fucking question when this event happened. <laughs> OJ Simpson, come on. True. <laughs> Kyle, your dad. You do have the game's virtual phone a friend where they make you pick templates. I want to save that for the last one. Okay. How are you getting out of this? <laughs> when I was in school, whenever I just didn't know the multiple choice answer, I would always go C, baby. I knew it was going to be C. I was like, yeah, all right, fine. That's the right choice. I know you are waiting for me to ask you, so let's go. Is this your final answer? No. Um, that's my final answer. If this is your final answer, let's hope it's the correct answer. Just you one. got it. You got it. Oh my one god. One wrong answer found easily. Or almost. The last question. Oh my god. And we talk about the Olympics though, for a new third fucking for you. time. Camus was the Roman god of what? No fucking Sleep. way. It is a Roman Revelry. god question again. Stars. Clouds. <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> I'm gonna phone a friend. Okay. It's certainly better to be alone than in bad company. But this time, your friend will be important. We'll call him right away. Okay. You want your aunt, childhood friend, colleague, or wife? I'm hoping a colleague picks up. Let's call Jennifer. Yes, hello? Who Oops. is this? Hello, this is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And we need your help. Well, I hope I'm up to the task. But we'll get through it for sure. Let's go. C seems the most logical. Why does she sound like that? You should that? try that one. That would make sense. Because of the sky. Comet. So C. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Comets like comet. Stars. Celestials. I'm choosing C. My friend didn't pick up. Is that your final answer? Oh. In canon. Yes, that's my Who'd final answer. Who'd you try answer. to call? Alex. <laughs> you have made your choice. <laughs> Revelry was the answer. You're out of here. I, I didn't want to say it. Tried. I'm sorry, but you're still leaving with your guaranteed cash prize. 
$32,000! Thanks a lot, Jennifer! <laughs> Jennifer, you bitch. That's why you got divorced. Harry. Hmm? I want to see you go. Oh. Oh god, all these okay. cost like a billion dollars. Oh yeah, I was gonna run through everybody. I want to save Ari for last because I feel like they'll be the funniest. Okay, Carl, your turn. Oh, okay. All right, gonna lock you in here. Do I get to choose my uh, my categories? Oh, of course. You, we will we will Assuming tailor this to what you wish. Assuming it works. Okay. Uh, maybe you want Olympic Games. No. What do you want? What do you want to be removed? I want. Hmm. Let's get science the fuck out of here. Put Disney on. Uh, I gotta buy these, so I can't. But any of these that are locked, you cannot get. Well, what the fuck? And there's not even microtransactions. I would have paid money to unlock these, but no. You basically you get you get neurons from like getting high up there. The Jordan fumbled. I didn't get many neurons. All right, turn off Olympic games. Okay. And turn off sports and hobbies. Uh, okay. That one scares me. And, and you uh, also said science, so I'll just do that. No, you can put science back on. Oh, uh, okay. Bill Nye. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's run it. All right, we're running it, baby. Can you beat $32,000? We will find out. Probably not. I've been drinking. Jordan was I. All right. Aerie's Aerie. I'm Aerie. Hey, Aerie. I'm, Aerie. Oh. I'm Jordan. <laughs> Can I thought you were recording this whole time? I'm eating many weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> you sure are. Happy birthday, Jordan. Be many weeks. Be Welcome to the show. Are you guys ready to go? No. All right. First, we got the five easy That's questions. Good. Oh, I don't like how that model animates. Which event helped to spark off uh, the American Revolution? Uh, was it the... That would be the Boston Tea Party. D. Uh, how about the Boston Baby Shower? I almost said that. The Boston the Coffee party. Morning. The Boston White. Boston, gen <laughs> Boston Gender Reveal. Uh, no more hesitating. I'm going to say D. Is that your final? Oh, yes. That yeah, well you got done. it. I watched that it. Civil War movie yesterday. That was the right answer. If Carl thought awesome. it's extra racist, oh no, that that is true. Shouldn't give you a hard time. They had a, re, a truly fantastical thing in that film for lore, where someone tries to buy something and they're like, "That only gets you this." They're like, "I'll give it to you in Canadian." They're like, "Oh, that's real shit." Fucking bow wow, dude. Hell no. Nah. This is a pow wow, baby. B. When I'm hungry, it's a chow wow. <laughs> oh. I'm certain that it's B. When I get excited, it's a wow wow. You pulled it off. True. I'm always doing that, dude. Oh, that, that's perfect. I'm always going, whoa, wow. Your new question is ready. In the TV Good series, way. The Simpsons, who provides the voice of Lisa Simpson? And I don't know her name. Is it, is it Julie Kavner? Yeardley Smith? Nancy Cartwright? Or is it Maggie Roswell? Oh, it's Nancy Cartwright, right? Is that your final answer? Names. Is it my final answer? Fuck. Oh, a Simpson tipple. I don't think it is. I think I'm going to change it. Yearly sounds stupid. Logging it in? Yeah. Let's go for Yearly. I think that the right answer is B. You're not sure of it, so let's uh, load this up. You. So let's go. Is this your final answer? That'll be my final answer. You have given your final answer. Just fucking say I it, dude. It is the right one. That's an answer. You got it. Can get behind. Thank God. Oh, that was yeah. so scary, dude. And there we have it. So let's move on. Yeah, Nancy is Bart. <laughs> uh. Which of these figures has the greatest number of sides? Rectangle, rhombus, pentagon, triangle. 
rhombus is like a diamond shape. That's a four what is a I think it's a pentagon. Is it not? Fuck me. Are we locking it up? Might be a rectangle. <laughs> Carl, you work in a school. <laughs> I work in a high school. They don't teach shapes. <laughs> they move on to fancier things. <laughs> they hit the romp. <laughs> yes, they do. That's I'm what geometry is. <laughs> Dude, I love geometry wars. That shit kicked ass. I want to go with Pentagon. If it's wrong, I'm going to ban See, someone in the chat. That's the right choice. Okay, you can just pick whoever. Final right. answer. Um, that's my final answer. The choice is made. Is Good job. Correct. Yeah. All right. But I mixed right up what a rectangle was in my head awesome. for a second, so I was like, oh, shit. What? New question coming I've up. been drinking. Good Leave me alone. Okay. Which word goes after pound for the official name of the British unit of currency? Sterling, imperial, royal, or mark? Fuck. You, a knower of British things. Man's going pound mark? Who? Hmm? She would say that so she wants to pound Markiplier. I don't... Yeah, I thought it was just called a pound. I didn't know there was something after it. Yeah, this is one of the few I actually know. It's fucked up. They don't usually say it like this. Yeah, then it's no, either... Don't. I feel like it's either Sterling or Imperial. Can I get a 50-50? Sure! Here's hoping they eliminate uh one of those. They're gonna keep They're gonna keep both of those, okay. and I'm gonna be... Yeah, I know. I really hope oh, that they just get rid of the, the fucking the clearly wrong ones, right? And the one remaining wrong answer. Sterling or Royal? Uh, shit. I'm gonna go with Sterling. Okay. I'm going to pick A. You had to make a choice. Is that your final I feel like answer? it's Royal and I fucked up. That's my final answer. It's Royal, isn't it? If this is your final answer, let's hope it's the correct answer. Well done. You got it. Thank God. They'll say shit like it costs like 50 pounds sterling. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. The, the, I also remember sterling silver. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is like the only good sterling you can question. find. Which person inspired Tom Cuddy to change his uh, to name his son Arthur? Was it Arthur Conan Doyle, Arthur Charles Clark, King Arthur, or Arthur and the Invisibles? Come on, George. Right, well, this is a very Focus. interesting question. I have one of my own. Who is Tom Cuddy? <laughs> I wonder if I could. You want to know who Tom Cuddy is? I'll give you a hint. Who's Tom Cuddy? Let me go. Let me go. Let me go see if, it, if I can do it without um, Tom Cuddy. Uh, I don't know who Tom Cuddy is upon upon Google. <laughs> <laughs> like I typed it. I typed it, and they're giving me Cuddy with D's. Um. Oh my god, you see, that's so interesting because I really just don't fucking. Yeah, they must have made this shit up. Like, I'm Googling it. There's no Tom Cuddy's. Who the fuck is Tom Cuddy? I'm getting the character Tom from uh, the One Piece wiki. Let's fucking go. Hold on. I don't think this man is real. They're not. It's not a real person. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I think they typoed it. This supposed to be Tom Petty. This is supposed to be Thomas Curry from DC Universe. <laughs> oh. 
That's really funny. I can only assume because to. Tom Tom Curry's son is Arthur Aquaman. <laughs> I mean, I would imagine that means King Arthur. Which which would, would you like to go for King Arthur? I'm gonna go for other. A Hold on, other aliases. I'm going to give you a major hint just because this is fucked up and we have no idea. Okay. Other alias of Aquaman, King Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you, uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go to King Arthur. <laughs> I'm choosing C. Just skip to the answer. Yeah, it's King Arthur. Yeah, they fucking typoed it. It's Tom Curry, not Tom Cuddy. That's perfect. The T is next to the R. They f this game is fucking awesome. Oh, that's that so great. funny. There's a new question for you. I paid like twenty-five dollars for this when the PS5 came out. Uh, who was uh, George Gershwin's lyricist brother? Was it Isaac Gershwin, Ike Gershwin, Ian Gershwin, or Ira Gershwin? All right, here's another interesting question. <laughs> Who's George Gershwin? Uh, he did, he did lyrics sometimes with one of these guys. <laughs> Alright, I will give you basic information, just for fun. George Gershwin, born in 1898, was an what? American composer and pianist. <laughs> Penis. Yeah. That dude has been dead for 90 years. <laughs> Um, what kind of stupid name would they have back then? I'm gonna say Era. Ah, like Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. I'm choosing D. Is that your final? Yes, that's my final answer. All right, let's find out the right answer together. Well done. You got it. You got it. That's fucking go. One more right answer for me. Pizza for me. The second that it's my turn, yep. I'm going to immediately turn off my second monitor so I don't even want to think about, like, Googling anything. Yeah, you got a sensory deprivation. And do-it-yourself terminology. What name is given to the hollow part of a pipe or a tube? Is it bore, burr, bale, or bead? All a part of a pipe. I want to fucking fail. Shout out to Bill Burr. Shout out to Bill Burr. Can I poll the audience? All right, let's check him out. I want to say it's Bale. Okay, audience, we need some help. Let's see here. if they agree. If you would pick up those keypads and enter your votes now. They agree oh, I was, by, by, by somewhat oh. small margins, but they do agree. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick bail. Hell yeah, Christian. I'm gonna try C. You had to make a choice. And the answer, answer is answer. bore. No. It's the end for you. What a dumb Mary mistake for that. on my part, really. I... You are leaving with your guaranteed. That right, area has a lot to prove on here. Good game. Good try. You won one thousand dollars. Okay. Oh yeah. That's a lot of money. I got Close forty of these. Uh, I got forty neurons. Do you know how much it costs to get a, a bonus category, Carl? Oh yeah, I thought it was like two thousand something. Four thousand. Oh, that's even worse. The quest okay. for knowledge. Answer more than one hundred questions correctly. We're working on the plan. No timer, of course. Give us plenty of time. All right. Are there any categories you would like to uh, disallow? Um, let's see here. I can do history. I can do geography. I can do entertain. Honest. I know I'm not going to know a lot of these, but I feel like it would be a disservice to, like, not. It's like... You gotta make a big hmm. crowd. 
so what would Nick? What would what would be making Nick proud? Uh, I don't know. That dude just looks like Nick. So I was like, you should win. <laughs> okay. Um, I wouldn't. I don't know anything about Olympic Games, and I don't know. Let's just run it all. I think I can just. I'll just try to logic my way out of things I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, all of them are on. Let's go. And last game of the night. See us bring it home. I just need to, like, somehow dodge the bullet up to, like, 32,000. Yeah, I, I think it'll be really funny if you get one question past 32,000 and go, I'm walking. <laughs> I'm walking, I win. <laughs> Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You guys ready to play today? All right. First, the easy Trust stuff. The weak sauce, your... if it will. Which mythology inspired the Wonder Woman universe? Greek, Norse, Celtic, or Egyptian? Wasn't, wasn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, you no. watched one of these. <laughs> I know I did. I'm begging you to get it wrong. I'm begging you to get it wrong, because that would be the funniest shit in the world. <laughs> this VOD's like 39 minutes, and the only person who achieved anything no, is Jordan. No, 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 no. No, I'm trying to remember what the movies were like. I, I know it's really hard for you, because you didn't really like the movies. I didn't. When they talked about the mythology, I tuned yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever the mythology stuff happened, that was your least favorite part of the movie, which makes this funny. Because it was, it was really boring. Like, it was. Do I know not, that the you film, do not fucking use a lifeline in the first question. <laughs> I'm not gonna use a lifeline. I'm just gonna go with Greek. All right, let's We're lock that in. That going to say A, okay? You had to. You yeah, it's Greek. Right. Fucking at the end of that movie when the, when the final yeah, boss no, Ares I, arrived. <laughs> no, that's what I remembered. I was like, it's the final boss is Ares. I think we all agree oh. that we can move on to this new question. What would you? Oh, okay. Thank goodness. Okay. What would you normally find in a set of in a golf bag? Irons, copper, steel, you would find and irons. silvers. It, irons. Okay. I, oh, I golfed. I golfed growing up. Harry, they they're Amazons. Is that your final? Um, they're Amazon. That's my. Fi you took your time, but you are right. I One I really didn't care. Easily. <laughs> Your new question is ready. Good luck. In what state was Shakespeare in the title of the what? What do you mean in? Tr in the title of the of the nineteen ninety eight film, in trouble, in love, in disguise, in debt. So is it Shakespeare in trouble? Shakespeare in love? Shakespeare in disguise or Shakespeare in debt? Um. One of what these combos is the name of a film from nineteen ninety eight. Shakespeare in Love sounds like the most logical one, but how far are we on the tree? Uh, let's go to the pyramid here. <laughs> you have gotten two <laughs> questions right. <laughs> you need to uh, <laughs> you need to get a few more. <laughs> Can someone clip this, please? <laughs> anyway, Shakespeare in Love. All right, let's just go ahead and lock that shit in. Are you like, yeah, no fucking shit. It's Shakespeare in Love, yeah. Okay, because none of the other ones made sense. <laughs> and I remember hearing Shakespeare in Love before. Uh, which fairy tale character ate a poisoned oh, apple? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Is it Cinderella? Snow it's White. Snow White. It's, it's uh, Snow yeah. White. Let's just let's just. But, but yo, but Thumbelina though. No, I don't care. The right answer is B. Final answer? You sure? That's I mean, my palms are sweating. One right answer. Yeah, I know these easy. are pretty hard. <laughs> Almost. All right. Okay. Last one to get to the so first checkpoint to match Carl. Question. What word applies to a group of people at a concert or an interview with an important person? Is it mob, congregation, mm -mm. audience, 
Mm-mm. or mm-hmm. multitude. Hmm. A group of it's people at a concert or an interview. Concert or an interview? That's an audience. We locking it in. Yeah, we're locking in audience. I'm gonna try. I thought see. it was mob personally. <laughs> I'm really scared that they're gonna say that, but you're good. Thing, you made it through the first third. Again, to beat Jordan, you need to get through the second third and get one question right. <laughs> Trust yourself and your acquaintances for this new question. You mean Carl? From what work does Finks, a member of the Phantom Troop, come? Oh. Is it Bleach, Hunter Hunter, Full Metal Alchemist, <laughs> or Yokai Watch? Oh. It was like the Phantom Troop. Yeah, I, I immediately okay. fucking left. I was like, oh. no way. No fucking oh. way. Dude. Hunter, Hunter. I wasn't uh, expecting good can... manga questions in here, honestly. Oh. It's like it's like I'm being guided yes. through the spirit That's part of the water right now. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I was expecting okay, questions okay. like, uh, what's the name of the kid who has the nine-tailed fox? And I'm like, fucking, and they're going to be like, Ichigo. That was the right answer? They're like, here's also. secondary character oh. in... That group from Hunter Finks Hunter. Is a weird, Finks is a weird pick. This new question. Yeah, Finks is like my powers. I wind up my arm and it multiplies my punch. Yeah, where he does the crank, the arm crank. Yeah. that'll be fun to, for the fighting game. Yeah, in the title of the 2003 feature film cartoon, Rugrats go what? Do they go crazy? Go wild? Go Hawaii or go Manhattan? Why do you get the Rugrats oh, question no. and not Carl? <laughs> This I is know this, genuinely fucked up. It's, Ari, it's, you the need crossover, to get this it's the crossover movie with like the 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 other the, yeah, with they the go wild. Rocko's modern life. Get it fucking wrong. No, it's wild. They go it's wild. Manhattan. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a jungle. it's a reference to when they hung out with the Manhattan Thornberries. I think yeah. the right answer is B. So this is one of the few movies I rented Manhattan? from Blockbuster. Um, that's the one. I think you shouldn't have been allowed to touch movies. Oh, that's All right, you're making some progress here. I'm actually slumdog millionaire in my way out of this one. You gotta stop fucking using I that term. You, recovered from your emotions <laughs> you do it. Relevant. You do it like no, every no, fucking stream. No, you can't. You can't. It's relevant here. This is where. Which it's of made. these innovations was introduced into bowling in the 1950s? Wooden lanes, oh, no. hard rubber balls, pin setting machines, bowling shoes. But why did I feel I like have it... to be the one to get? I agree, Nick. Why did you I have agree. to be the one to get the bowling question? I'm gonna have to use one of my lifelines here. Okay, you've got four of them. You have skip a question, ask the audience, phone a friend, or 50 50. Ask the audience. Okay, we're gonna poll this audience real quick. The audience will vote. Good luck. I just need like two things to be kind of in overwhelming oh, it's C. on C. <laughs> It's C. It has to be C, then. If it's okay. that overwhelming. The pin-setting machines. They had to do this shit by hand before this. Are you absolutely sure? Is that your I just didn't answer? know if it, if it made sense yes. for them to be made in That's that, like... Final answer. If this is your final answer... See? You know, you know, the audience was wrong on the last one of these we did. They were, but this one was, like, more... Like, Carl's was the more even yep, split. Yeah, you're right. You're right. The overwhelming majority won One today. More right answer for me. Oh. Like with Carl, sure, he picked the one with the most, but the that one, the other deeper. answer, with won the Electoral College. Question. Yeah. From whom was Cindy Crawford divorced in 1995? Oh, was it Kevin yeah. Costner, Richard Gere, Tom Cruise, or Robert Downey Jr.? It can't be R R D J. Why can't it? Well, he feels fresher than nineteen. Like I don't think he was that old to be getting. Are you sure? Robert Downey Jr. was born in nineteen sixty-five. Right. Oh, he was born in what? <laughs> he is fifty-nine years old. It feels like he only became relevant in the. Okay. Oh, that's that, that's because he had like a normal career for a while. Then he did a lot of coke and alcohol, and then he got like he got like the resurgence in two thousand eight. Oh, uh, okay. I don't there... think it's him though. I don't remember hearing Cindy Crawford and RDJ. I don't remember. If yeah, I that's fine. That I, I, I was fine. I was just letting you know. Feel I'm free just gonna to go say off. It. 
I'm gonna say it out loud. Cindy, Cindy Crawford and Kevin Costner. My parents didn't say that. Cindy Crawford and Tom Cruise. My parents. It has to be Richard Gere. Are we locking at Richard Gere? I don't. I I said those things because I'm hoping that I could like spark a memory of my because my mom loves talking about this stuff and I don't remember those sentences being. That's true. My together. mother is also like that. She was all about Bradgelina. Yeah, Richard Richard Gere. I'm choosing B. Is that your final? Oh, that's my final answer. You, you got it. it nice answer. Let me go. That was Good the job. right answer? Awesome. I want a manga question. You guard, you already got one. You don't get any more. I want, it, I want another a question. That I okay, your want. next question. Where in the human body is the triscuspid valve? Is it in the, the heart, lung, liver, or kidney? It's 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 actually the tricuspid valve. Um all right, give me the fucking answer then. <laughs> it's okay. It's in the heart. It's because the heart has like three things. It has like you don't fucking have, know that. No, there's literally like three. Um, Fine, you're okay. Sure, fuck it. it three, three, fuck it. You're right. Good job. All you have to do is get one question right and tap out, and you beat Jordan. <laughs> but that wouldn't be satisfying. That is. That is true. The, game is the people. Different. The people watching the stream did not come for that. If I, I now just tie with Jordan no matter what. That is true. What is the Jewish is New, Year Jewish New Year called? Is it uh, the Rosh Hashanah, the Yom Kippur, the Passover, or the Hanach? Um, I thought I got to the last question. Hanukkah is the Christmas. So is like yeah, but you didn't get it right, so I'm just I'm just putting in whatever money you got. No, I remember because the customers will customers come to my store and they say Rosh Hanasha when or like certain customers will say that during the New Year. No way, you're, no way you're getting Rosh shit right because of TJ Maxx. There's just no we, way. There, we have a lot of people that shop there. You had to make a choice. Is that your final answer? That's the one. Good job. And there we have it. You're now $64,000. Four questions remain until we're over. Are you ready to face the traps of this next question? Oh, Good they got some traps you. in this one. Like holes and boxes. According to legend, which flower is named after a boy accidentally killed by the god Apollo? Is it a... Uh, oh, I know this one. Hyacinth? Crocus? Edelweiss? Gladiolus? Final Fantasy 15, let's go. I actually... Oh, I was thinking of the guy who looked in the lake for too long. <laughs> was a different guy? No, there was a guy who was made to look in the lake in, like... Hey, who asked, Ari? I okay. It's <laughs> it's the the highest thing. Are we locking it in? Yeah, because it doesn't. Because the other guy had a different. It was a different Don't flower. Say a. Okay. Alrighty. But the highest you got is a flower it. There. Get okay. Line. Three left. That was the right answer. Awesome. <laughs> that was the right answer. <laughs> yeah, fucking Nick had no idea. I guess. The game is off to a good start. But you shouldn't stop but there. You shouldn't Here stop there. Is a new question. <laughs> You're getting tricked by a computer. Which gift-giving oh. Norse god is said to have been the predecessor of Father Christmas? Thor? Nope. Loki? Nope. Freya? Nope. Odin? Hmm. Um... It's not Thor. It's not oh. Loki. Oh. Between Freya and Odin, but Odin, Odin's the All Father. Yep. Oh, and Odin bestows gifts upon the people, like he bestows gifts upon Thor. If Odin and Odin is always has that big white beard in the art, or like when they interpret it. Yeah. Sometimes he's purple. Sometimes he's purple, but like we'll go with Odin. Locking it in. Lock it in. D seems pretty good. I'm gonna say D. Lavera <laughs> Life. Freya is a most important <laughs> well, I know Freya is a woman, but it could be like that she still was known for giving gifts, but it still doesn't make sense. Two questions remain. I have like three things. You have three lifelines. One of them is entirely skip the question. Are not alike. They're proof with this new question. Um... Which great composer wrote more than a hundred symphonies? 
a hundred symphonies. Was it Schubert? Not, it wasn't Schubert. Be Beethoven. Mozart. Heinenkrug. I don't remember if it's between. It's Beethoven. Fake Grand Order. <laughs> Please be wrong. Please be wrong. I might be Thank right. God! Well, no big deal. Thank the Lord. It's a game after all. Shut up, Nick. Oh, you didn't even let me like say what the good news is. No. You are walking out of here with your guaranteed cash prize. <laughs> you were way too confident and you said fake red order and made me really angry and I immediately just went over there and started hitting the button. <laughs> well, the thing that we all expected, chat, came to pass. Air and Jordan the are basically the same intelligence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was torture. Thank you, Mr. I like spam for the 43 months. Well, Chad, I guess we can call it here. That was a fun birthday. That that was a that was a fun little birthday segment. Your baked out of your gourd. Oh yeah. Gourd, dude. Oh yeah. Uh <laughs> Harry asked how far along are we after two questions? <laughs> Which I think might be the best moment of the entire stream. <laughs> you need to get that clip on Twitter. Oh, that's going up instantly! <laughs> and then I gotta put up the rest of my LEDs in here. Alright, chat. That'll do it. Let's uh let's hit these credits and play us out for today. Sucks that I could, couldn't record this on my stuff, but at least we know what the problems are going forward. For the I think I think no knowledge helps a lot. Yeah, knowledge is knowledge is quite important. I think generally helps us out on our way here. Oh yeah, because I fucking clicked this uh, to turn the stream off. It doesn't have the donation, so I'll thank them here. Thank you, Sigma, says Full of Hatred, and Asiko for the contributions today. I will see you guys uh, soon for, for more. Blech.